Where do you go when everyone's turned you away? Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to be going over another one of the mutants out of Battleworld 92, Rogue. As with most of the mutants, the details of her background have been filled in over the years, so we're going to be briefly talking about her background and explore her first days dealing with the Marvel Universe. What we know about Rogue is that she was born in Mississippi as Anna Marie. Her parents were living in a commune where they were trying to live away from modern society. But the commune wasn't normal as they dabbled in Native American mysticism, and in a strange ritual, Anna Marie's mother Priscilla mysteriously vanished. For a time, she was raised by her aunt, but for one reason or another, Anna Marie rebelled and ran away from home. As a rebellious teen, Anna Marie was picked up by the mutant Mystique, who was recruiting mutants for her version of the Brotherhood of Mutants. You see, Anna Marie's powers manifested when she was once flirting with a boy, and during that romantic encounter, her power to absorb powers and memories reared its ugly head. By simply touching this boy, she left him in a coma, and it wounded Anna Marie very deeply, which forced her to go on the run and make her unsure of herself. Mystique saw the young and vulnerable mutant and acted as a mother to her, and used this to recruit her to the villainous Brotherhood of Mutants. However, during their first mission, the Brotherhood was imprisoned in Rikers, all except for Mystique and Rogue. And in her premiere story, Mystique commands Rogue to go after the costumed hero Miss Marvel in order to steal her powers so that they can free their friends and eliminate the Avengers. When a rogue encounters Carol Danvers, she leeches so much of her power that the exchange becomes permanent, leaving Miss Marvel a shell of herself. Rogue then proceeds to dismantle the entire Avengers roster as her mutant powers combined with the powers of Miss Marvel prove too much for the Avengers. However, once Mystique and Rogue try to go and free their friends, the Brotherhood, the Avengers assemble and they rally to defeat the Brotherhood, and Mystique and Rogue retreat to fight another day. Over the next year, Rogue is used as a very potent villain against the X-Men, being featured in several stories, but during her reign of terror with Mystique, she accumulates an overwhelming amount of psychic fragments from the victims that she's absorbed, including the lingering presence of the real Carol Danvers still in her head. Mystique is not very sympathetic towards her and doesn't care that she's coping with this. So, Anna Marie realizes that she has nowhere else to turn, but to the foremost powerful telepathic on Earth, Professor Xavier. Rogue shows up on the doorsteps of the Professor's mansion, and she meets her one-time enemies. Professor X talks to Rogue and decides to not only take her into the School of Gifted Youngsters, but to also let her work on the X-Men as a probationary member. While the X-Men are outraged by this decision, they eventually learn to let Rogue become one of the most important allies on the X-Men roster. This is how Rogue went from being one-time villain to legendary X-Men, who actually runs the school right now. Rogue's mutant powers are solely a blessing and a curse. With simple skin-to-skin -skin contact with a homo sapien or a homo superior, she can absorb their psyche and their abilities. This gives her access to victims' memories, psychic abilities, superpowers, knowledge, talents, and personal traits. When she does this, she gains them and the victim loses their powers temporarily. The longer the contact lasts, the longer the exchange lasts, and her victim will feel exhausted and sometimes unconscious if she holds on too long. She can't turn this power on and off, and she's constantly careful of who she comes in contact with. She often wears clothing that covers her whole body in order to avoid accidental contact. I hope you enjoyed this origin of Rogue, and she's often considered one of the most popular X-Men, especially in the 1990s era. She's usually on some roster of the X-Men, and so it's going to be interesting to see what role she plays during this all-new, all-different X-Men. If you want to chat about this, leave a comment down below, or follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Comic I'm Benny, and I'll see you guys next time, right here.